Hello. The past week has brought some intense heat into northern Europe, most notably Scandinavia, record-breaking temperatures in Finland. We are going to see that heat ebbing away now, though, as thunderstorms swirl their way in around this area of low pressure during the next 24 to 48 hours. Pretty wet weather, actually, for southern Sweden and Norway through Saturday into Sunday. For the south and east of Europe, the skies still stay clear. There's plenty of sunshine around and plenty of warmth temperatures. Well, actually around where they should be really for this time of year. High 20s to the low 30s for Greece, Turkey and the Balkans. And for Iberia, a lot of sunshine too. But this line, this weather front is the boundary with the colder air coming in from the north and it is a case of much fresher conditions, certainly than in the week just gone, advancing into the likes of the UK, France, across the low countries into Germany, as we see this band of rain, heavy thundery rain, working its way in. So our forecast for the week ahead looks pretty different for Oslo and Helsinki. Temperatures a good 10 or maybe 15 degrees down for some parts of Norway, Sweden and Finland. Elsewhere, though, we continue with business as usual with plenty of sunshine and warmth across Greece and Turkey. Hello, welcome to our weather catch up for Asia and Australasia. Let's take a look at our satellite picture. Plenty of showers across uh, Malaysia, the Philippines, into southern Vietnam and Thailand at the moment. And then further north, this slightly better defined band, which is the Mayu front, bringing our seasonal rains in to China. And we'll see that pulsing with a little low pressure center across the southern half of Japan on Sunday, eventually clearing through eastwards, but some pretty strong winds and some heavy rain for a time before we see some sunshine following on behind. But this little pulse here looks like it will bring another bout wet and windy weather for the start of the new week. Fairly frequent showers again for the Philippines, southern Vietnam and Thailand, but some drier conditions across Java and Sumatra. I think Singapore though in line for quite a few thundery downpours in the coming days. Australia looks uh, largely dry for the next few days, aside from some weather fronts advancing into the southwest, bringing some rain and windier conditions into Perth at times, perhaps a few showers along the length of the Gold Coast. It's New Zealand that gets the lion's share of the rain on Sunday, some heavy downpours affecting both islands. It looks like we'll see something a little bit clearer for the South Island on Monday, but the North Island, I think, will still be a focus for some fairly relentless showers. Hello. Our satellite image from India and Pakistan is dominated by the clouds carrying the rain of the southwesterly monsoon at the moment. The monsoon has advanced a good way northwestwards, even ahead of schedule now into Pakistan by around a week or so. But the heaviest and most problematic rain for the next 48 hours will focus on India. Some heavy showers for Kerala. The northeast, though, bearing the brunt of the most intense rains, Assam, Meghalaya, Bihar, West Bengal, parts of sick and torrential rain leading to flooding here. For the north, below average temperatures for Kazakhstan on Sunday by a factor of about six or eight degrees for Nur Sultan and Almaty. Some showers on the tail end of a weather front spilling across the Hindu Kush, perhaps the odd shower getting close to Islamabad. Still drier here though, relatively in comparison to the wet weather that we will see along the length of the Western Ghats. Some heavy shower is to come for Sri Lanka and as I said, the real target of the rainfall in the northeast of India, but also parts of Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh. Our outlook for the coming five days features showers for Kolkata and Dhaka. Islamabad, I think largely dry at this stage, downpours though for Colombo, and it's also uh, looking like we'll see some rain on and off for Nagpur, but comparatively a little drier here. Hello. Stormy stuff in the forecast for the northeast of the US and for eastern Canada this weekend. Thanks to this area of low pressure, heavy thunderstorms swinging their way across towards New York, affecting many parts of Manitoba, Ontario and Quebec. And then through the course of the weekend, this trailing weather front gets invigorated. We'll see heavy showers through the heart of the Mississippi Valley and parts of the Ohio Valley as well.
Still pretty showery around the Gulf Coast too. Head further west and we have some showers pushing into British Columbia. There's a lot of warm air to the south. That's going to put some energy into the atmosphere, allowing some pretty heavy thundery downpours to get into the northern plains. Quite dry thunderstorms as we sink down into the Great Basin and towards the Four Corners. That in itself a problem as we have an elevated fire risk here. Some very intense heat around, but it will drop significantly for the likes of Salt Lake City and Las Vegas into the early part of the new week. Towards the east, there are those thunderstorms uh, targeting basically New York and upstate New York on Saturday. Some pretty lively rainfall through the Mississippi Valley, still looking clear across the, the Virginia and Carolina coast, but we will see the wetter weather transferring its way gradually eastwards through the duration of the weekend. Hello, we're South America bound for this world weather catch up. We've had some really heavy rain in the last 24 hours across southeastern Brazil, courtesy of the tail end of a weather front. It is now pulling away. It could be a little bit of a slow job to clear early on on Saturday, but the second half of the weekend, I think, will be considerably drier. To the south of the weather front, some pretty cool air getting a long way north actually into Argentina and Paraguay. Further north still, we've got heavy showers to come for parts of Colombia in particular uh, through into Panama. Also potentially for Guiana, French Guiana and Suriname, whereas for Brazil away from the southeast, it is looking relatively dry. Some sunshine for Buenos Aires, cold air across southern Chile and some persistent rain for central Chile, I think courtesy of a weather front that will eventually push that rain towards Santiago for Monday. And you can see a temperature drop here as well, just 11 degrees with the wetter weather. Central America, pretty grey skies across Mexico City in the next few days. Some scattered showers across uh, Mexico as a whole. A few for the Yucatan Peninsula and Belize, heaviest to the rain though for Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Across the Caribbean, a few showers. The recent dust plume now starting to disperse. So we should see improved visibility as we uh, go on into our coming week. Hello, it's the turn of Africa and the Middle East for the weather catch up. And we start with a look at the satellite picture. Not a lot generally across equatorial Africa in terms of showers in the last few days, aside from Guinea and around the Ivory Coast, where we have had some really intense rainfall. And in fact, parts of the Ivory Coast that's resulted in some intense flooding. There'll be further showers on Sunday with a particular focus, I think, on Nigeria and Cameroon. There could be some flooding here too. To the south of the continent, a weak weather front approaches Cape Town. That will mean some cloud at times, perhaps a, a little bit of rain to take us in to the new week. For Lagos though and Yaoundé, some heavy showers to come in the next few days. Elsewhere, we're looking at sunshine across most of the north of the continent, Algiers and uh, Moussaka getting perhaps some of the clearest of the skies. Still a little bit windy across the northeast of the African continent, some blowing dust and sand here, and a strengthening shamal, not particularly strong, but just lifting up a bit across Iraq and parts of Saudi Arabia could stir things up in terms of some blowing dust and sand here, particularly Sunday into Monday. You can barely pick it up there, but it is just intensifying, so some blowing dust possible around the Gulf. But overall for the Middle East, plenty of sunshine to come, no surprises there, and plenty of heat in the next few days. 